In the wake of Eric Scheinman's resignation as Attorney General of New York, some of his longtime friends on the left are professing shock. You've heard them. We just can't believe it, they say. How can a man so publicly committed to feminism beat women? It just doesn't make sense. But of course, it makes perfect sense. Self righteousness is always a marker for secret creepiness. The people yelling the loudest are usually hiding the most. Keep that in mind the next time you hear some Democratic politician lecturing you about your moral inferiority. That's the guy you need to watch carefully. Chances are he's up to something awful behind closed doors. Hypocrisy isn't just a feature of modern liberalism. It's the heart of modern liberalism. Ever wonder how people who advocate for abortion can say they stand for children? How a movement that demonizes an entire race can claim to oppose racism? The same way Al Gore can travel by private jet while trying to ban your SUV. Because consistency does not matter to the left. Only virtue matters. We're good people, therefore we must rule. You are not, therefore you must obey. Al Gore doesn't believe he's a hypocrite. Eric Schneiderman probably doesn't think he is either. You can't commit sin if your intentions are pure, and liberals believe their intentions are the purest. If that sounds like theology and not public policy, that's because it is theology. Modern liberalism is a religious movement. It's a replacement for the Protestant Christianity that the left works so hard to undermine and destroy. Liberals are speaking the language of faith, albeit a faith without God. This is the main reason that right and left talk past each other, the reason our public debates are so weird and unsatisfying. One side arrives with facts and stat stats and arguments. The other brags about its decency. One side is trying to convince. The other is trying to convert. You can beat a liberal in an argument, but you can never convince him that you won. He cares much more deeply than you do, and therefore he knows he's right, by definition, and nothing can convince him otherwise. Somewhere tonight, Eric Schneiderman is marinating in his shame, probably unshaven and alone. His career is over, his reputation is destroyed. He faces years of potential legal action. He is a broken man, he is in agony. And yet on some level, despite all of that, Eric Schneiderman still knows He's a better person than you are.